KX5 reporter Joe Vasquez has been monitoring the situation from our newsroom and joins us now with the latest developments. Joe? And Juliet, the death toll 44 people, according to CBS News, in the worst attack on Christians in decades. Late tonight, the U.S. State Department condemned the terrorist attacks, calling them barbaric. An emotional funeral procession winds through Egyptian streets, just as military convoys have begun to mobilize. The country of Egypt is in shock and high alert, just hours after two suicide bombers struck two Coptic Christian churches. The first one happened in the middle of Palm Sunday Mass as the St. George's Men's Choir was singing in Tanta, Egypt. A bomb blew up, caused major damage, filling the building with smoke and scattering debris. A few hours later, outside another church in Alexandria, a man in blue walked through a metal detector and blew himself up. ISIS is claiming responsibility for the two bombs that killed dozens of people and injured dozens more. Today we have taken the decision to form the Supreme Council to counter terrorism and extremism in Egypt. President Trump, who hosted Egypt's president last week, tweeted, So sad to hear of the terrorist attack in Egypt. U.S. strongly condemns. I have great confidence that President al-Sisi will handle situation properly. Pope Francis condemned the attacks at Palm Sunday Mass in St. Peter's Square. The Pope, who actually plans to visit Egypt this month, prayed for the dead and injured. Christians make up about one-tenth of Egypt's population. The president of Egypt is calling for a three-month state of emergency. In the newsroom, Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5.